it started out with my dad when he was passing away. I was at West Valley Hospital and I just happened to drive by Hart and Holmes office and I had no idea and I just went in, applied and started doing it with my schnauzer. I just found that I loved it. The 11th hour. It's peaceful for me to help someone else transition to death because so many people are afraid of it. Just sit there and hold their hand and talk, pray with them, whatever it is they need. Maybe it's selfish, but I get a good warm feeling. They're both very meaningful because they both fill a need for not only myself and the dogs, but for the patient. As I just mentioned, 11th hour is special because it may not be the patient. It may be the family. You know, I can walk in and they're whispering. I'll just talk in a normal voice and ask them to start telling me, tell me some good memories about so-and-so. And then they get to talking and they start just carrying on a conversation that's positive. And as we know, the patient can hear because that's the last sense to go. I really feel that it gives them a relaxation knowing that their family is gonna be okay. Yeah, they're both equally important. I think every job at Heart and Home or any other hospice, equally important. I mean, it's a team effort no matter how you serve for heart and home. Try it. She gave me the job of being a mentor and taking other volunteers, new volunteers out and letting them see how it's done. Because sometimes people have no idea they want to go with somebody else for a few times and then they're capable of going on their own and serving their own patients. You know, it's not something scary, it's, it's rewarding. I recommend it to a lot of people. A lot of people don't have the, they just tell me that's not for me, I can't do it. And again, it's their fear of death. To me, it's a friend.